Meanwhile, life was hard. The winter was cold as the last one had been, and food was even shorter. Once again, all rations were reduced, except for those of the pigs and the dogs. A too rigid equality in rations, Squealer claimed, would have been contrary to the principles of animalism. In any case, he had no difficulty in proving to the other animals that they were not in reality short of food, whatever the appearance might have been. For the time being, certainly it had been found necessary to make readjustments of rations. But in comparison with the days of Jones, the improvement was enormous. Reading out the figures in a shrill, rapid voice, he proved to them in detail that they had more oats, they had more hay, <laughs> more turnips, and that they had in Jones's days, that they had worked shorter hours and they drank better water, and they lived longer, that a larger portion of their young had survived, survived and that they had more straw in their stalls and suffered less from fleas. The animals believed every word of it. To tell the truth, Jones and all he stood for had almost faded out of their minds. They knew that life nowadays was harsh and bare. That they had all that they had that they were often hungry and cold and that they were usually working when they were not sleeping. But none but doubtless it had been worse in the old days. They were glad to believe so. Besides, in those days they had been slaves, and now they are free. And that made all the difference, as Squealer did not fail to point out. <laughs> the good book of Orwell. Marcus Conti reporting. So, um, the yellow vests. I still haven't gotten one yet, but I got them halfway there. <laughs> I see this as the great movement. The great awakening is upon us, comrades. The great bowel movement. <laughs> Why? Because we're all full of shit. <laughs> right? We are. We're so full of shit in this country that we can't even agree on... We can't even agree on the fucking, the, the enemy, right? Solidarity is what we need, right? So tomorrow is uh, the 15th of December. It's breaking out day in the United States for yellow vests all across the country. If you're in Washington Square Park in New York City tomorrow, come and, come and uh, hang out with me, high noon. I'll be shooting a video or two or three or five. <laughs> And uh, let's break it out. But, you know, I don't care if there's 10 people there. It doesn't matter. Right? And all it's very important. All across the country. It's not just New York City. Everywhere. Photo photographic evidence. Video it. Right? Post it. Tell people about it. Right? What it means. Right? Right? We're everywhere. That's the message. We're everywhere. The working, the working, the working poor are rising. We have to define this before the, the 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 kook media and the corporate elitists step in and try to paint it a far right fascist movement or a far left antifa movement. It's the people, right? Alors, Castrine et Stéphanie, bonjour. Euh, Qu'avez-vous à répondre aux personnes qui disent que ce mouvement des Gilets jaunes est un mouvement de fascistes, euh, de, de personnes d'extrême droite et de bof C'est pas vrai. Parce que nous, on fait partie des gens de, de milieu euh, classe Modeste. moyenne et nous sommes là pour revendiquer pour nos APL, nos allocations. Euh, le, le gasoil, les taxes, euh, tout, tout, pour les retraités, pour tout, en fait. fait on se bat pour nous, pour que nos enfants aient un avenir aussi. On se bat pour le peuple français, pour qu'on ait un avenir, parce qu'on est en train de crever, en fait. Et vous, à titre personnel, quelles difficultés rencontrez-vous au quotidien 
euh, comme tout le monde, on, on survit. survit. On survit. On se bat C'est pas avec le peuple survit. ce qui nous donne qu'on va, on va faire un voyage à 40 000 euros. Non, nous on n'est pas Madame Macron, on ne peut pas se permettre. Voilà. But here we are in America, right? Can we really do this? I have my doubts. Because there's no solidarity, right? No solidarity. Right? Because we're all off in our own little rabbit holes. We got hit. I wrote them down. I, I couldn't even come up with them. All the divisions in this country. All pseudo-psychological divisions that, that don't have any basis in reality, really, right? There's the Hillary haters, right, who love Trump. Then there's the Trump haters who, who hate Hillary, right? So you got your Hillary haters, your Trump haters, your Q enthusiasts who love Trump and hate everybody else, <laughs> all the, the deep state. You got the deep state haters, the investigators. <clears throat> you got the pedo haters. Everyone in Hollywood's a homo and a, and a, and a pedophile. <laughs> you got those people, right? And nobody communicates to each other. Who else? You got the reformists, the, the political reformists. You got all the, the progressives, they're going to reform the party. <laughs> you got the, the people, the silent masses, the political people that you don't even know. You haven't even heard their voice. You don't even know who they are, right? Those people, right? It's a lot of them. Mainstream media lovers, mainstream media haters. You see all the divisions that when you say unite, Spartans! Unite! We know what we're talking about. But the masses, the masses are sleepy still. Could you imagine a Hillary supporter and a Trump supporter in the park wearing the same yellow vest? Actually, actually targeting the correct enemy, which is corporate oligarchy? The corporations, the 10,000 publicly traded corporations led by the 20 banks that are raping the country and have been since the 80s? Could you imagine giving up your Hillary and Trump hate just for a day? <laughs> wow. Because of that, that would be the that would be the bowel movement of the of the year, right? Of our lifetime, because everything would change. What is the what is the purpose, right? What what is the purpose of this? I'm all in because look, it, it occurs to me that look, I, I came from the Occupy Wall Street uh, uh, idea that that the corporations were were deeply broken, and that Wall Street is a casino. It's the biggest casino in the world. It's 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 a casino for the wealthy. And somewhere along the line, people have been duped into believing that there's an investment in there. Right? That the banks have all the power. And that the markets and the economy is rigged against you in favor of a 1% elite. Right? Those truths stand strong in the face of all the other conspiracies of it's the deep state, it's the politicians, it's the it's fake foundations, it's, it's you know, fraudulent this and fraud... It, it, it is all of those things. But, be, but above that is the money that pays for it, right? So important to understand. And the Yellow Jacket movement, as we see in Yellow Vests and in France, is proving us right. See, that's, that's, um, that's oligarchy oligarchy on steroids what we're seeing in France right where they gave up all their rights je suis en colère pour toutes les augmentations en général 
toucher aux retraités, euh, toucher euh, au carburant, toucher euh, à tout, 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 à tout, à tout, à tout, euh, en colère pour tout. C'est le mot de tout le monde, hein. C'est le mot de tout le monde, hein. C'est un sentiment de ras-le-bol. Ouais. Oh, ouais. Et pas simplement à cause du carburant, c'est un ensemble, toutes les augmentations, pour les retraités. On touche une petite retraite de 800 euros, je voudrais bien voir si M. Macron pourrait vivre avec 800 euros par mois. Il nous donne sa paye et on lui ouais. donne la note. Nous, on veut bien, nous, on fait pas de tralala. Et euh, mesdames, messieurs, est-ce que, que... Quelle est votre réaction quand vous entendez des personnalités dire que ce mouvement des Gilets jaunes est un mouvement de fascistes et de personnes d'extrême droite N'importe quoi. Pas du, oh, tout. Pas du tout. C'est un 80, mouvement apolitique. Il n'y a aucune politique là-dedans. C'est un ras-le-bol de toute euh, ras -le de tout le monde, la société. Ouais. Tout le monde est concerné, hein, que ce soit des petits, les grands, les moyens, ben tout le monde est concerné. Êtes concerné. Ouais. Euh, comment, euh, moi je dis, euh, Macron là il s'amuse, euh, là il veut jouer les grands là. Mais là il a tout faux avec le peuple. Je peux vous le dire. Il devenir nos petits-enfants surtout. On pense à eux aussi, hein, parce que là, euh, ça va trop loin, quoi. Alors, on a déjà plus euh, grand-chose, nous, mais alors eux, qu'est-ce qu'ils vont avoir Rien du tout. Et ils ne vont même pas de travail, alors, euh, en plus, euh, voilà. On quoi. est obligé de... Euh, comment on, La paille qu'on gagne, c'est pour mettre le gasoil. C'est normal, ça hein On va travailler pour payer le gasoil. Hein euh, on n'arrive même plus à sortir, on n'arrive plus à faire des loisirs. Euh. Faut arrêter, hein. euh, Macron il s'amuse avec qui là Il s'amuse avec le peuple là Bah ben là il a tout faux là, et il a perdu avec nous. Ça fait rien, il mange bien lui. Ouais. See, Macron would have been the equivalent of a Clinton election, where the pendulum would have swung even further towards the neoliberal idea. Trump stops that a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. Because Trump continues to give them, give the corporations tax breaks, give, eliminate the taxes on any business they do abroad. So he's not, he's not fully on board with it. But I believe Trump can be, is negotiable. I think that when he sees the people rise, he'll rise with it. I believe that. Right? And why not? He's the president. What do we got to lose? Oh, on yellow. Everybody says, oh, fucking yellow. Yellow, I don't like yellow. Yellow's for cowards. No, I can't wear yellow. <laughs> you know what, man? Look at, look at Trump's uh, decor. Q. Q, you didn't catch it? Q, that's what he meant. That's why the drapes in the Oval Office are yellow. You didn't know that? That's why the chairs. Ah, the chairs. Right? The chairs inside the White House are yellow. Fucking Q, you missed it. You fucking jackass. Trump's been singling, signaling the whole time. The yellow vests. Yellow. Let them run with that one. But also, the in Asia, right, across Asia, yellow is the uh, color of royalty. The Thai royalty are draped in yellow. Yellow is very, very, it's very much a royal color. And it's a change because Trump deliberately changed from shit brown <laughs> in the Obama days and he switched it out with yellow. So yellow is a good color, man. We like yellow. Right? But um, it's a movement about it's a movement about combating the banksters. Now we, the ninety-nine percent, are done with it. We're done. We we have the power to boycott at our choosing. Go down to basic necessities for now, right? The ultimate goal of this is an all-out boycott. But for now, before they turn it into a violent scene, which is always inevitable, whenever too many people gather with the same idea, the oligarchy is going to step in and try to crush it. Right? So it's our goal to stay as passive as we can. 
there's no need there's no need to fight because once we once the, the, the tear gas starts flying and the rubber bullets start hitting and the cars start flipping they're gonna call it a, they're gonna call it a radical they're gonna radicalize it in the in the media the media is totally silent on this in the US right now totally silent I saw some images on CNN they tried to paint the they tried to paint the people uh, involved as radicals they're trying to maybe even say it's Muslim <laughs> Arab Arab antagonists because right, they got that new shooter now and uh, that he's Arab they're gonna try to paint it an ugly picture but really what it is it's family people that were that that the economy doesn't work for any for people anymore for regular people for huge numbers of people poverty in America on the rise one in seven on food stamps 80% of the country living paycheck to paycheck so Trump can't tout that unemployment is the highest as is the lowest it's ever been yeah but people are working two and a half jobs and they can't pay their bills mr. Trump and that's the reality of it so the charade is over right the charade is over down here in New York Harbor it's not that cold out it's nice my rib is uh, okay too thanks for asking Still broken I think so anyway that's where we are today try to wrap it up so tomorrow come join me kindly make a contribution to this um, channel consider being a uh, patreon for a dollar a month dollar a dollar or more two dollars thousand people it becomes sustainable it becomes if you want me to continue to, to, to be a voice for this all in let's give a dollar it's like throwing a dollar in the tip jar that's all down below patreon one-time pay one-time uh, contribution uh, PayPal spread the word the great bowel movement is among uh, is upon us tomorrow we will shit out all our differences <laughs> we will leave our differences on the ground really it's a great day man this is what we've been waiting for people it doesn't it's not in contradiction to anything that you believe you can still hate Trump you can still hate Hillary you can still love Q you can still fucking hate people of a different color and race and well you can fucking hate everybody but at least come together on an economic on an economic message that the country is in a fucking jam we're being robbed and we're, we're allowing it to happen right we're allowing it to happen come together <laughs>